There's no way a bee is going to get you through this. Okay? Tanya Phillips has been a master no beekeeper for over a decade. Millions of honeybees constantly buzz across her sprawling farm in Austin, Texas. These bees had plenty of honey the last time I checked them, so we're going to check and see if they still have it. This colony, she says, looks strong, a relief after an unseasonably frigid winter this year and an excessively hot and dry summer last year slowly starved hundreds of thousands of her bees to death. Their hollowed out hive carcasses now piled up in the yard. All the spring flowers, which is what the bees in Texas eat, all of them died. It was by far the worst year for bees and I lost about, I mean, I, I stopped counting. When it was past 50 colonies, I just stopped counting. It was just getting sad. Phillips says climate change is the biggest threat her bees are facing. Outside of feeding their bees or insulating their hives, there's really very little that beekeepers can do to protect their colonies from the harmful impacts of climate change. But science is now stepping in to give the bees a fighting chance. Earlier this year, the U.S. Department of Agriculture gave conditional approval to the world's first honeybee vaccine. Developed by Dolan Animal Health, it protects against American fowl brood, an aggressive, fast-spreading bacteria. The only remedy now is to torch the colony. The vaccine is given orally to the queen in the form of a sugar jelly. Once ingested, it travels to her ovaries where immunity passes to her offspring. Experts have hailed it as a breakthrough, a first step towards controlling more common viruses and pests that have decimated bee populations. Since the 1940s, the number of beehives has more than halved in the U.S. Similar declines have been recorded throughout Europe and Asia, threatening global food security. A replacement for, for honeybees in terms of the, um, the, the pollination services they provide for a growing human population. So if we were able to create any kind of antiviral immune priming similar um, to what is being done with American fowl brood, that would be an incredible breakthrough. The vaccine's creator sees a more long-term advantage as well. If bees aren't fighting off diseases, they may be able to better adapt to climate change. If you are starving, uh, if you're poisoned, then it's much easier to get sick. So our hope is that Having vaccination available for insects, it will provide this cushion. If something is taken care of, they have more resources available to manage the other stressors. Dahlin hopes to release the vaccine to commercial beekeepers later this year, giving what many argue is the most important insect on Earth better odds at survival. Tony Waterman, CNA, Austin, Texas.